Now just a little word on shirt here. This as you can see is part of a shirt nodule. It's already broken when I picked it up. Same here. And this one here. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I saw a deal online where it was said that Chert and Jasper were the same thing. Well, there's Jasper. As you can see, it's got its own little shine already to it. Here again. And Chert tends to be dull. Not always dull, but sometimes, for the most part, it usually is. And, shirt comes encased with an outer coating. It's just a plain old ugly rock until you break it open. Shirt is also more easily flaked than a piece of jasper would be. Jasper tends to be harder so it doesn't flake off as easy, which is why the Indians used chert for uh, napping. Now, in some cases you'll hear chert and flint. Flint and chert are the same item. A uh, geologist calls it chert, and an archaeologist will, when he finds an area where they are napping, flint, napping will call it flint. When it's used as a weapon, it's flint, and as a rock, it's chert. Now some shirt, like this one, almost thought it was a piece of petrified wood when I first saw it. But some shirt is a little denser, has a little bit more of a shinier look to it, right from the go. But its texture is different than Jasper. You can feel the texture of Jasper and feel the texture of shirt, and they are different. And if you actually read geology uh, web pages and stuff and books, you will find that flint or uh, jasper is part of the uh, quartz family. Quartz, um, chalcedony, agate, and jasper. Uh, jasper being the most densest, it won't let light through it at all. And nowhere in there do you ever see mention of chert. And there is a reason because this is that. This is crystalline in structure, monocrystalline, and shirt is a sedimentary rock. They are two different animals, even though sometimes they can have a similar look to them, because, like I said, some of them are a little shinier, like this piece here is going to be shinier naturally than this piece here will be, but they're still shirt. So that's my explanation of shirt and flint and jasper.